Hello people! How are you today? I am very happy to be here sharing a bit of this passion with you. So, I am Verusca. I am an English teacher. I love learning new things. I love meeting new people. And learning a new language is learning culture. Is the opportunity to learn more about this wonderful world, right? And there is nothing more related to culture than tea and its millionaire journey around the world. So, first of all, what is culture? The word culture comes from Latin and it means cultivation. So, when you get something from the earth, to your heart and we share with people around us. This is culture and this is tea. Well, to start talking about this world, let's just clarify the difference between tea and infusion because we are mostly used to consume infusions, especially here in Brazil, right? Well, every tea is an infusion but not every infusion is tea. So what is an infusion? When you soak any kind of herbs, flowers, seeds, roots, for example, like ginger, chamomile, hibiscus, mint, when we soak any kind of these herbs into hot water, what we have is actually an infusion, right? But tea is also an infusion, but we use the leaves from one specific tree, an evergreen bush, okay? An evergreen shrub. And from this tree, this tea tree, yes, there is a tea tree, from this tea, we have five different kinds of tea. Yes, the white tea, the green tea, poor, oolong, and the black tea. They come from the same tea plant, Camellia sinensis. Camellia sinensis is the name of the tea tree. And what we use to produce all these five different kinds of tree are only the three first parts on the top of the plant. Two leaves and one bud. You will have some pictures here in the feed and you have the opportunity to see uh, plantation and the tea tree and the leaves and the bud, right? We are going to talk a little bit more about tea history and Camellia sinensis and all the five different kinds of tea and the best way to prepare them during this week. And I hope you enjoy it because I will be very happy to be sharing this with you. See you tomorrow.